I'm Fenella Kernebone and I am extremely happy and very proud to be part of the I Touch Myself project. For me, obviously, growing up watching Chrissy Amphlett on the television screen, that's pretty much how, how I know her. You know, I was born in the, the late 70s, so she was this incredible, larger than life, magnificent and magnetising creature, this woman, this powerful, strong woman on the television screens. You know, every Saturday, Sunday morning, watching Rage or video hits or, or whatever it was, there was Chrissy all the time, just this so powerful and so feminine and just rocking out, you know, she knew her body, she made me at the same time. She was one of those incredibly strong women on, on the screen in probably at the time a field of not so many who were just powerful and they gave I think us agency and, and to be honest I used to I, I loved watching her because it was a bit naughty and a bit rebellious I grew up in a bit of a religious and, and slightly conservative but but still an open-minded household and and watching her always felt a little bit naughty because she was she was sexy and she was sexual and it inspired me I remember people like her and um, to pick up a guitar I wanted to be a rock star myself at the time like so many of us did and it was because of watching women like Chrissy Amphlett um, inspired so many other sort of young women of my generation. The song I Touch Myself is about our sexual freedom in so many ways and you can take it on as you choose but the idea that it has become a song that is now an anthem as well not only for sexuality for women and uh, control over our own bodies but to say I mean it's a pretty natural fit isn't it that all, all of a sudden it's about control over our own health at the same time so yes the idea that we t touch ourselves that we are aware of our, our bodies, of our breasts, our breast health care, that we are vigilant, that we touch ourselves frequently is absolutely important. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 10 years old, so I had never had heard of breast cancer, of course, prior to that, and she went through many years of illness, and so it was something that I grew up with. This, this breast cancer was just in my life from the age of 10. It went away and it came back when um, when she was in her early 60s and she, she died of it when she was only 63 years old and it was incredibly sad and troubling but she was always so such a powerful and, and strong woman my mum she was incre incredible and she was just so determined that she told me and my sister about our breast health and we were absolutely uh, informed about what we could do and where you know but we were just told we must look after ourselves and we must look after our sisters and that's the broader sister community and so I've always um, maintained absolute vigilance about this and I've always checked myself and touched myself since I was in my early 20s and uh, of course today I continue to do that I get mammograms every year as referred by my doctor I go to my doctor every year and I make sure that she touches me it doesn't matter how old you are, it affects all of us. So, you know, just start checking when you're in, in your 20s, whether you have a family history or not. Be aware of your boobs, get to know them. They're on your body, you know, you know what your hands feel like. You should know what your tits feel like. I hate to be, you know, brash here, but this, this is absolutely incredibly important. And, and that's the thing that I take home from hearing Chrissy's story is that she knew what her breasts felt like, she knew what they were supposed to feel like, she picked up the fact that she had uh, a lump in there when she'd already gone to the doctor and I think that they'd said that it wasn't there. So she knew, she knew what to feel for and that to me is so important to hear, to, to know. I'm going to go home and touch myself tonight. <laughs>